And so in this video, we're going to be continuing with chapter 2. And so let's look at the outline and see where we're at. We're going to be doing a video on Microsoft Work Spreadsheet and Calendar. So, huh, if I'm correct, we have a little typo right there. Yeah, we're going to have to fix that one. So if you see that error, don't worry, we're going to get that fixed. So we're going to type in spread. And we're going to open it up. And we're going to look at spreadsheet this time. And this is Microsoft Works 9 spreadsheet. And like mentioned in previous videos, we said that the basic uh, look and feel to the program is very simple, subdued, yet very straightforward and easy to use. And it's going to get you to doing whatever you need to do. Now, of course, if you're going to do something like financial work and stuff and you don't know where to begin, all you need to do is go ahead and go to New. You can pick a new document. Or if you want to do a template, you can go ahead and choose to browse templates here. And the task launcher will open up and it will show you the various templates available for spreadsheet. So let's say we wanted to do something on... Let's see. Let's find something here. We have important household records, vehicle logs, fundraisers, graphs and charts. Let's look at graphs and charts. And we see various charts here, graphs. And these are all, let's pick this one. Basically, when you pick one, it's going to open up in spreadsheet. And basically, all you need to do is put in the items and put in the things that you need to, to uh, basically make your uh, spreadsheet have all the information that you need to have in it. So basically, say if we did a fundraiser and we picked one of these auction items and we basically put all the auction items here, persons responsible, date, dues, status. And this is nice if you really don't know how to set up a spreadsheet in the format that best fits you. So you can do that. It asks us if we want to save and we're going to say no. How about schoolwork and planning tools? There you go. Class, pets, and plants. Care schedule. So if you want to, if you got pets and plants, you can... Make schedules on it. Emergency contacts. This is very nice. If you want to make emergency contacts, go ahead. You can open this up. For double click. And we have various different styles available. You can pick the one you want. I like this one. So we'll open it up. And there we go. Oh, this is something different. Let's go back to that. We want to close that. Moving list. You, if you want to move, you can go ahead. Contact list. Packing list. So if you're going to move, you can do all. You have all the charts available here. Let's pick one of these things. Moving checklist. We open it up and we see various things here and you can do all of this handcraft too um, in other words you don't have to use these templates you can create this look and style yourself if you are an advanced user you can go ahead and you can print this stuff out check it off and all the information is here you just need to sort it and put in the right information that you need So that spreadsheet. And if you're used to using Excel, then this should be very easy for you. Here's something. We have financial worksheets, which I'm sure is probably a bit the most popular. Personal budget. Here's one. Let's look at personal budget. And we see some various information here we can put in. We have a lot of these open now. Let's close some of these. We don't need to save them. So 
So let's go back. I want to look at some more of those financial. Here's something that, uh, oh, this is nice. A college cash flow. So if you're doing financial for college, go ahead. There you go. All the information, all you need to do is just double click within these uh, boxes here or these cells. And you can put all the information and numbers and information and totals and sums and all the other information in here. And so this is very useful, um, very simple, yet easy and quick. So if you, anything that you need to do in terms of numbers, you can do in spreadsheet. So let's close that one. Let's close this one too. Now, now I want to look at works calendar. Let's take a look at calendar. Now when, we, when we're when we in the task laundry and we go to programs, works calendar, we have a start calendar and we can look at the calendar appointments and set appointments. Let's go to the calendar and it's going to open it up and it's asking if works calendar should be your default. We're just going to uncheck that it always uh, says this when we open it. Say no. And this is works calendar. Nice, easy to use calendar. We're currently looking at a day to day view. We want to look at the seven day outlook. We can. Monthly outlook. We can. And we see here we can go ahead and if we double click inside these boxes or the dates, we can add some information here. Like we can say make new. Video. We can say location is home. And then we can put all the other information here. Add some notes. Make new video. For chapter 2 in service pack 4. And we can save that. And of course, we could set the times as well. We can make it an all day event if we choose to, or just give it specific dates and times. And so you can easily do that just by double clicking within the dates. You can also have more than one calendar. Say if we wanted a work calendar, we could go ahead and we can rename this by going to the calendars tab. And we could say home. If we go to add new calendar, we can add another calendar. We can say school. Boy, my spelling is really off today. So we got school. We want to add another calendar. I don't know. Misc for miscellaneous. And so the the calendars also have various colors and if you go to the options you can change the different colors if you prefer by going to this calendars you can organize your calendars and so forth you can manage calendars like we just showed here on this left side, not only do you have this tab, the calendar tasks, but you can also view them together by clicking the checks. And it will basically show all the dates that you have for each calendar at the same time. This mini calendar right here shows you a monthly to monthly calendar for the current month and the next month. And some other buttons up here, like today, if you're at a different month and you want to go to today, you can quickly jump back to the current date by going pressing this today button. So that's it for this video. We just wanted to take a nice look at spreadsheet in Microsoft Works 9 and calendar in Microsoft Works 9. That's it for this video.